day four, Festive Way. That's not good in the bike lane. Day four, Festive 500, and it's the first time in 16 kilometers I've been able to take one hand off the handlebar. It is windy. So whilst there's been a bit of a change in the cricket, and I won't be mentioning the cricket much today, there's been no change in the wind from yesterday. If anything, it's picked up a little bit. So there's no escaping it. If I've got to get outside and do my Ks, I have to encounter the headwind. So that's the start of today's ride. Just passed through Bunningyong, heading up the Mount Bunningyong climb again, out to Yendon, and then a tailwind home. It's been hard work so far. <laughs> today's video. What am I covering? What's in the video title? It's New Saddle Day. So I've got the new Pro Stealth team. Pro being Shimano branded, or one of Shimano's brands. Let's have a look at all the details about what I'm sitting on right now. A quick close up of the saddle. Here it is before I put it on the bike. The Pro Stealth team with carbon rail has the two bolts there at the back for the accessory adapter, which I've been using on the older Pro Stealth that I have. A three fin mount, which is compatible with GoPros or lights or anything else. I'll put that on in a moment. It has an 80 mil width indicator here, which is kind of interesting what they've done with the packaging here. It's a Pro Saddle tool here. The packaging becomes a tool. Unfortunately, what I was sent from bike bug didn't have this pro tour here at all that was pretty useless however if i was sent the complete package you take that off wherever that went and measure your 80 mil width 80 mil back and that's how you determine where the saddle goes so i'm going to give this a shot with anyhow the tool didn't come so here's the saddle here's the old one let's go side by side like so they look very, very similar. This one is a 2017 model. I purchased this in 2018. It's what I swapped off to go to the Kdex Boost. This just became a little too hard for me. It, uh, yeah, there's not much give. And one thing that is noticeable with the difference is that this padding is a lot softer. And on the edges around the front here, there's a bit of a lip. You can feel that edge as you roll your finger around. On here, that's not there at all. That is soft all the way through, so a little bit softer, which is a good thing, given that the hardness of that became a problem for me after a while. Physical differences, I really can't tell any difference whatsoever, other than the length. The new Pro Stealth team is a little bit longer over here. Other than that, they're very, very similar. Now this is a used saddle, so there's a bit more of a curve in this that could be due to the compression of the padding. Uh, that's really about it. So slightly longer, a few cosmetic changes up the back here. Um, I don't think I'll be uh, utilizing that part at all for obvious reasons. Uh, up the front, width looks about the same. Um, I'd have to like, closely measure those to see any difference. But the noticeable is the padding. So a lot softer over on this side. Wouldn't be a comprehensive video or a semi-comprehensive vlog without a weigh-in. Not really one for one because this is the alloy rail. So 203 with the older Pro Stealth, the newer one. The claimed weight of this is 161 in a 142. So we'll dust it off and give it every chance to meet Manufacturer spec, it comes under. <laughs> Who would have thought? Very rare to have that happen. 159 grams. That's pretty light for a saddle. So one thing I will do though, is put on this accessory mount. And the bolts from the old are compatible with the new. On and on. Good to go. So there we are. Oh, okay. We have to know. 
a few extra grams with that accessory mount. So without the supplied 80 mil tool, I made my own and measured out where the 80 mil cross section was of the saddle and made note of that. Also taking the saddle height, even though I could have used the garage door there as reference, but with that recorded, saddle comes off. Always a tricky task to try and remove a saddle and install a new one without totally dismantling that saddle mount bracket. Very convenient to have the 80 mil section marked on the saddle already. Okay, that's all lined up. Final saddle height check, and it's a little lower. It's about five millimeters different to the Kadex Boost. So it's out with more tools and more torque wrenches to get that adjusted. And in moving the saddle up a little bit, I have to move it forward a little bit too. So that was also adjusted. And the finished product, or the finished installation, the Pro Stealth team installed on the giant TCR. Looking pretty good. So that's it on the bike. A bit of tinkering around to get the position just right. I think it's still a little high. I raised it up five mil, but because I don't sink around the saddle, if that makes sense, I might need to bring it down two mil. Yes, I'm that in tune with that area. Speaking of that area, to use a cricket term, the bales are still on, middle stump is still fine, so no problems down there in the first 17 k's of using this saddle. All right, I will check back in once we've got this head wind over. Whew. Okay, here we go. Tailwind section. Oh, that was payback for yesterday. Oh, that was, well, that was to be expected, I guess. You can't have the highs without the lows. You can't have the tailwinds without the headwinds. And that was one of them. It's at my back now, and it should be there for most of my ride home. We're about 28 or 29 Ks in. Today's only a short one. I only need to knock out 42 K average to get this Festia 500 done. Today's ride, probably just under 50. And I'll call it a day after yesterday's larger than normal ride, you could say. Some people have asked about the audio on the, uh, these recordings. I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 with a fresh battery to talk to you on this camera with the media mod. Typically I've just been using the standard uh, microphone cover on the media mod. Oh, this is so nice out here. Have a look at this. Except that car, but that's what I'm talking about. That's Mount Warren Heap. It's also a volcano. There's also a medieval castle on the other side. True story. So what I'm recording on today is the media mod with a little bit more of a dead cat put on the front of it. And I'll show you that now. That's what I've done to stop the wind from buffeting around and blowing across the microphone. So hope, hopefully the audio is okay. Uh, saddle check-in. Fine, actually. It's, it's, uh, it feels a little stiff. Ha. Huh. That could be me from yesterday. <laughs> So, no, hang on. Let me re rewind that, rewind that. It feels uh, solid, but that could be my tenderness from yesterday. <laughs> I'm leaving that in the video. But uh, pinch test, fine. Blood flow, fine. My apologies if that's a bit too much, but uh, that's the reality of saddles. You can get some numbness down there, especially climbing if you're a little further forward. And that's important, guys. Don't put up with bad saddles or numbness or anything like that. Girls, 
I have no idea what's going on down there, but again, don't put up with bad saddles. Always search for a better saddle, always. Look at this tailwind, it's absolutely brilliant. Hang on, more bumps to negotiate. Uh, what else to report on today? That's about it, that's the saddle. Um, that's the camera. What else, I've got to get to the gravel bike this week. Uh, I do apologize for yesterday's 18 minute video. <laughs> I, I don't want these logs to be that long. I don't design them to be that long. I just switch the camera on and talk, do the editing later at night and upload. And hopefully people enjoy the story. Some people have said they've been watching these from uh, their indoor trainer because it's too cold to go outside and they're loving the scenery. So I do appreciate that feedback and comments from people who watch these and enjoy these. It's been a fun few days and I'll continue on whilst I can and uh, bring you the beautiful, beautiful weather we're having. It's gonna get a bit hot at the end of this week. So it might be some earlier morning rides or some later evening rides. G'day. But looking forward to it. Things are going well. I hope you're well. And we'll check back in at the end of the ride. And I'll give you a saddle status update, but things are going well so far. So I thought I'd give that KOM a little bit of a nudge, but I think I screwed the, K, the apex of that cornering up. Coming down that hill, I wasn't quite sure if there'd be any uh, gravel on the inside or the outside and how much runoff that I'd have. But I had a pretty good look at it as I was coming into it. So gave it a bit of a sprint effort. Uh, legs held up okay after a few hard days. Uh, not quite fast enough for the comp, I don't think. Uh, we'll jump on and have a look on Strava when I get home. So I've just ticked over 40 k so I'm still about 5 or 6 k from home and I'm going to call that a day from here. Again checking back in on the saddle, everything's fine. I don't mind it so I'll continue to ride it. I've had some saddles I've put on and you know pretty much straight away that it's not going to be your thing. This feels pretty good, so I'll keep rolling on and I guess in the future I'll do a long-term review of it. I'll need a few good months though, really. But that's a first look and a first sit <laughs> of the Pro Stealth team. Not cheap, but if it's going to work, then it doesn't really matter. It's, I'd happily pay twice the price for a saddle that I'm going to use and causes no problems versus going cheap on a saddle that will just be uncomfortable and not friendly to ride. Speaking of friendly, there's enough road there mate to give me a bit more room than that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Back to the cricket for me. That's day four over and out. Again, thank you for everybody who has uh, watched, left comments, and uh, helps me continue making short little production vlogs like this between things. By between things, I mean between power meters and smart trainers and other things like that. So I do appreciate the support. Again, let us know how you're going on your Festive 500. This will get me over my 300 today. All right, as the wind, continues to kick in. We shall see you tomorrow.